When I was told I had cancer, it was quite a shock. I had known several people who had contracted cancer in, earlier in life and they had not done too well with the results of it. My wife was with me when I had the diagnosis, so she was fully aware, obviously, from the moment I was. The biggest concern I had when I was told that I had cancer was I was going to have to explain it to my children and indeed grandchildren. They would have all had the image of when anybody mentioned the word cancer, that there would usually not be a very positive outcome to that. They uh, were all surprised and concerned and were intrigued to know what kind of treatment would be available to me and what the outcome was likely to be. Cancer is a global challenge that really knows no boundaries, no borders, and as we continue, cancer incidence rates just continue to rise. The need for cancer care is going to continue to grow. With that in mind, we aim to make our innovative treatments available and accessible to as many patients as possible. We're in the bunker which houses our cyber knife, which is the original cyber knife which we got in 2011. It's an entirely different way of delivering radiotherapy. So the radiation that comes out of the machine is the same as the radiation that comes out of any machine. But the main difference is the fact that the linear accelerator is mounted on a robotic arm, which means it can move in almost limitless planes. And that gives us the ability to treat from any angle we want. And it uses really small, what call called pencil beams, which we can give very precise treatments to a target. We can also image in real time. We've got X-ray units on the ceiling with a detector on the floor. And that means that the machine can take pictures of whatever we want to treat and the machine will correct for any movement in that target. With our relationship with Accuro, we've been involved in many different aspects of research. Um, Accuro funded the uh, PACE trial, which compared both surgery with radiotherapy and prostate cancer and conventionally fractionated radiotherapy and, and SBRT, both of which have allowed for practice changing results. And we've had multiple other studies and multiple other utilizations of the machine, um, which have allowed us to really improve the outcome for patients over the last 10 to 15 years. The study um, compared standard fractionation radiotherapy with SBRT, which was giving five fractions of treatment. And we now know with just five days of treatment, with no hormones, we can have 96% control with very, very acceptable rates of side effects. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2012, we got the PSA back. It spiked up from under two to four. It was only in one quadrant. It was like one millimeter. I'm the kind of an individual that if something comes up, I try to analyze it. I try not to get too excited. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, it gets more emotional about it. And of course she was very worried about it. So now we go to 2014, I have the biopsy. It went from, it, it grew from like 4% to 16%, still only one location. Fortunately, my wife was listening to uh, the radio in New York City and all of a sudden this uh, uh, came up, the subject about prostate cancer and about Winthrop Hospital that's out in Long Island and they have a cyber knife treatment. And, and we both decided this is the path that we're going to take. Once the treatment was over, I could function doing my work. I basically, I might've lost an hour and a half out of the day. Uh, outside of that, I could take care of all my responsibilities with the business. It, it, was, it, was, so much, it was so much easier. I was afraid that if I had had chemotherapy, that um, I would have lost mobility and I mightn't have been as well in myself afterwards. So certainly the cyber knife was the only option that was available that uh, would leave me better off. Many of the men having treatment for prostate cancer are still working full time and taking 20 days out of, of their lives is a huge ask when treatment can now just be given in five days. It's also huge, as I said, for the healthcare system because it's a massive use of radiotherapy resources nationally. 
and so reducing it by 75% has huge impact. Ecuray has really strived to become a global leader in cancer care and specifically in a leader in radiation therapy. Our organization has a thousand employees worldwide and we have over 50 uh, distribution partners so that we have presence in all the major regions of the world. And uh, not only do we have folks that support uh, clinical teams um, from an education standpoint, but also from an installation standpoint, service and support. These systems, um, they are in place for 10 plus years. And so our relationship with the clinical teams worldwide is long-term. And so they really rely on us to make sure that we are providing them with the highest level of support. We also work with, uh, with government agencies um, to make sure that we have the regulatory clearances to allow the technology to come into a country and be deployed. And the reason that this is important to us is because we believe that access to cutting edge technologies can make a significant impact to global health outcomes, whether that's through increasing survival rates or improving the quality of life. And we feel that by doing so, we have a great opportunity to address global challenges in closing the care gap and making access to life-saving care more equitable around the world. We've recently introduced the Tomo C product for China. So it's developed with our joint venture partner as a product for the China type B market. And we've also introduced uh, a Helix, which is also an access product for other parts of the globe where again, access to radiation therapy is, is not where it needs to be. Because of the fact that the treatment was non-invasive, it meant it didn't prevent me from doing anything immediately afterwards. I was able to go home and get on with my normal life, be it cutting grass in the garden or clipping hedges or whatever, or indeed walking my dog. Uh, so I felt there was no impact on me. I would recommend CyberKnife to any associate or any neighbor or friend that states that they might have a problem. The first thing I say is, before you do anything, investigate CyberKnife. No matter where you are as a patient, that you have access to the care that you need and provide, and we want to help make big strides in driving global health equity in that regard. I live my life just like I, I did before. I'm fine, everything is fantastic, and my wife and I are looking forward to celebrating our 20th or 30th anniversary since we had the cancer. And um, we just want to enjoy our life and travel, just have a good time.